The Centers for Disease Control estimates one in 68 children in the U.S. are on the autism spectrum. Right now, there are no FDA-approved treatments for the symptoms, which include difficulty with communication. That's why the results of a small clinical trial have grabbed the attention of researchers and families. Health reporter Haley Hernandez explains. Dr. Robert Navio suspects the cause of autism might be a metabolic dysfunction where the energy molecule ATP is outside cells. He researched more than 2,000 drugs and found one that might help. That drug was Suramin. Dr. Navio tested one dose in a clinical trial of 10 boys. Five got the drug. Children began to talk sometimes for the first time uh, in sentences in their life. Boys who got Suramin had autism severity scopes drop from 8.5 to 7, the lowest point on the spectrum. They improved social, language, and fine motor skills and found relief from repetitive motions and fragmented sleep. Miles was in the trial but did not receive Suramin. He still wanted help. I should generally be interested in the ability to possibly find a way that people with worse autism or struggle more with autism than I do to possibly be able to find a solution that can help them better communicate. He now uses rowing to reduce the stress related to his autism. For those who did get the drug, Dr. Navio says most but not all of the effects wore off in eight weeks. Some children had learned to tie their shoes for the first time, and then other children had learned to uh, zip up a jacket. Um, those fine motor skills w were motor memory and that had been retained. Miles and his mom are encouraged by the results. Dr. Navio says next there will be several phase two trials to determine safety and efficacy for Suramin. He suspects it will be three to five years before those phase three trials begin. Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.